I'm Kurt Tarani, I'm a nuclear fuel scientist. One of the problems that we've been spending a lot of our time on is uh, enhancing safety margins in uh, nuclear reactors by, by uh, advancing uh, nuclear fuels, essentially producing more accident tolerant nuclear fuels. Nuclear uh, power systems are really complex systems. Uh, the energy density is extremely high when you compare them to, let's say, your common uh, fossil energy plant. It's about 100 times higher energy density. So, so there's a lot of complex systems out there to, first of all, harness this energy. And if something goes wrong, uh, be able to go in there and manage it. So there's layer after layer of defense, so to speak. Uh, and so one of the things we can do is, is, to, uh, is to lighten the burden on those safety systems uh, that come with the reactor by changing uh, the nuclear fuel. And that's, that's really the area we've been involved in quite a lot, advancing those technologies accident-tolerant fuel technologies. These are essentially new fuel concepts, and we're aiming uh, in current generation reactors. There's about 400 nuclear reactors in the world, and they're going to be around for, for a while. Uh, this, the economics of nuclear electricity dictates that you run these reactors for a long time. So a lot of impact can be made by targeting these fuels for the current reactors. But also, once you go ahead and, and uh, uh, demonstrate the technology, you enable it for the next generation of reactors. Now, that, that technology de demonstration takes a long time. The, a, few, a new fuel development and qualification is, is at least a 20-year process. It's a very complex process, so it's exciting. <laughs> the challenges are that it's a very multidisciplinary problem. You have to have very sound knowledge of materials. That's an area I'd like to think I'm an expert in. Uh, the, the, you need to have sound knowledge of thermohydraulics. You need to have sound knowledge of neutronics and reactor physics. And at the end of the day, you're in the business of producing electricity. So if, if you design something out of polonium and gold and palladium, then uh, you, you're not going to have a market for it. So it needs to be economic, and you need to satisfy a, a lot of different uh, um, areas. Uh, and uh, again, it's, it's all these different pieces of, uh, of science and engineering come into play. We also fully take advantage of our, the pseudo capabilities here. We've got the, the highest flux uh, neutron reactor in our backyard that we, we can access. Uh, we've, got, we've got a number of uh, hot cell facilities that folks can stand behind uh, six feet of leaded you know, glass and you know, dissect and cut these things for us. We've also got a, a, a dedicated suite of characterization tools that, that are willing to uh, uh, input these very radioactive materials and we, we can get in there and. Uh, analyze these materials. Ornels, uh, certainly in this country, is, is one of the best places you can go. I mean, this is the laboratory where we built the, fit, the first uh, uh, continuously fissioning reactor. Since then, there's been uh, a culture, a legacy of uh, uh, pursuing these technologies long term, demonstrating them. Decade after decade, we've, we've done that. So we are an academic, uh, concept-based uh, um, R&D. Uh, uh, facility. So, so we, we really take ideas that in industry doesn't dare to touch, that it's, it's too early for them, okay? And it's not their job. Uh, we come in, we take these ideas, we have the, the, the right brain power to go ahead and explore the, these, these ideas, uh, uh, see if, if, if they're valuable, and then optimize them and enhance them. And, and then once again, if you look at this, that TRL ladder, technology readiness ladder, uh, once we go ahead and uh, uh, get it to a level of maturity that the industry can pick it up and run with it, and believe me, that they're good at that once you, you demonstrate it, uh, that's, that's ultimately success. But, but looking back, you know, decades from now, you, you, you want to be able to look back and say you made an impact and you changed the culture and practice of the industry for the better. That's really the goal.